ain't the same no more. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Atlas. Um, I just want to do a real quick video because I just want to get other people's feedback, I guess, on the situation. So, um, yeah, here's the deal. Well, here's the scenario, and I just want to know how you all handle it. I'm sorry, I'm cold. Anyway, um, all right, so say you have an associate, right? And you all have known each other for years. And throughout those years, that associate has fucked you over on more than one occasion. But because of the type of person you are, well, either you're stupid or you just believe in giving people more than one chance. Well, it depends on the situation. But you believe in giving more person more than one chance. Um, they fucked you over, but you still um, kept them as an associate because you wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt and you wanted them to or you wanted to believe that they were going to change and things were going to be different. So, this last time around, you know, or this most recent time around, um, they promised you that they would never do it again. It, it just was not going to happen ever again. So, you said, okay. You try it out with this, you know, associate or whatever. Just, you know, an associate. So... So for a good little while, no problems, they have not fucked you over, there's no signs of them fucking you over. But then all of a sudden, and I'll say a good little amount of time meaning, let's just say some months, because whatever. Let's just say some months. It's been a good little amount of time, and they have not fucked you over, there's been no signs of being fucked over. And all of a sudden, they fuck you over. Again. And then, what happens is, excuse me, they get upset with you when you get upset for them fucking you over. I don't quite get it. Like, I don't understand. What their comeback is, well, I haven't fucked you over in a long time. Does that matter? I don't think it really matters how long it's been. The fact of the matter is, it happened again. So, why wouldn't I be upset? And my viewpoint on it is, okay, you fucked me over before. Um, you just fucked me over again. Now, granted, it has been a long period of time. But, I feel like by saying... It was a long period of time. It hasn't happened in a long time. It should be fine. It should be whatever. These are not direct exact quotes, but you'll get the you'll get the point. But by just saying, Oh, it shouldn't matter, it's fine. That's kinda like a junkie going into rehab, right? Then they get out of rehab and they're clean and sober for like some months. Everything's cool. There's no signs of them going back into the little drug thing or anything. And then they relapse. You catch their asses with a needle in their arm. A white boy in their mouth. And if you don't know what a white boy is. It's basically some weed rolled in top paper. If you don't know what top paper is. It's the cigarette paper. Okay. I don't know if people know that. Whatever. I don't even know why the hell I know it. But whatever. I know it. So. Again. That's like catching a junkie, relapsing, with a needle in their arm, a white boy in their mouth, and coke on their nose. Now, are you going to say, oh, well, they haven't gotten high in some months, so this time is okay? No, you're going to look at that and say, bitch, you're a fucking junkie. That's what the hell you're going to do. It does not matter how long of, t of a time frame they went without getting high. The fact of the matter is, you just caught their asses getting high. It does not make a difference. So you still did it. That's how I view it. So somebody telling me that, well, it shouldn't be no problem because it hasn't happened in a long time. It doesn't really, it doesn't really add up to me. So my question is this. You can give whatever feedback or whatever. My question is this. 
if you have an associate that fucks you over on several occasions, they say that it'll never happen again. Ultimately, it does. Now, it's been a long time, you know, so it shouldn't be a big deal, right? It shouldn't be a big deal at all because it's been a long time since they fucked you over. But they haven't done it in a long time. But now, after that long period of time, they've done it again. How do you deal with that situation? Do you say, well, you know what, yeah, it hasn't been a long time, so okay, I'll let it slide. Do you say, fuck no, you're a junkie, so to speak. Put it in quotes. You're a junkie, so to speak. Like, what do you do? Do you keep them as an associate? Do you say, you know what, I'm done? Do you carry it as, well, yeah, you did it. You know what, I'm not sweating that shit no more because you ultimately won't do it. So I know how to carry you, and I'm not going to carry you so closely. You know, it, it's whatever. I know you're going to do what you're going to do. So I'm going to carry it like that. I'm, I'm just let you do you. And I'm going to do me. So. Yeah, that, that's just my question. I just had a thought on that. Because. I don't know. I'm personally the type of person that. I don't really fuck nobody over. I try my damnedest not to. Like, there's very few people that I can actually admit, yeah, I, I fucked them over because I just wasn't thinking about them at the time. Then I've apologized. So, you know, not that it makes it better. You know, the fact of the matter is I still did it, but, but just in this instance, you know, me being, because it is me that I'm talking about in an associate, but <clears throat> me being the person that I am, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. So now I've given the benefit of the doubt and motherfucker just fucked me over again. I'm not going to get all in the details because it's kind of irrelevant. It really is. And yes, I have on a do-rack because um, I don't feel like doing my hair. So it's, yeah. But anywho. Yeah, so this hit me back. Give me a little input or whatever. And I think that's about it. But as usual, I got work to do, so I gotta get back to work. So on that note, peace, and I'm out. I got so much, man. All the haters, yeah. That kid is one of y'all. Let's go. Watch how I turn hate into great. In other words, cheese.